Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you my Montessori inspired activities that I have for my preschool student today. So if you are a teacher, a parent, a caregiver, and you have children ages three to six, today you're going to be getting some ideas. I don't take out all of the activities all at once that I'll be using in one day. I take one activity at a time. So let's start over here with the sorting. Sorting is a great way to start math with young ones. It is a precursor to math and is needed to be learned for many mathematical concepts. So here I have some shapes and these are buttons that I got at Michael's Arts and Crafts store. And these buttons are different colors and they're different sizes as well, different shapes. So for example, here's a heart. So this child will sort with the heart. Here's a big heart, here's a small heart. So different color hearts. And you can talk about sizes, you can talk about colors, you can talk about all different types of things. Here is a diamond. And so the child goes on and on sorting all of the different shapes until they are done. And this is great also for concentration skills. As the child is sorting all of these shapes, it takes focus, it takes concentration. Okay, so moving on to this writing activity. I got these cards at Target. It came with like a Play-Doh type of bead material to put around the letters. So I'm using it for many different things. I did a haul for Target on all the homeschool and teaching supplies that I got this summer and I'll link that below because I found some amazing things. So I'm going to have the child with her finger go ahead and trace the letter the correct way. One, two, Three. It is very important that children learn how to write letters correctly in the correct format because if they get into the bad habit of, for example, maybe they start here and then they go like this, they're just not going to be writing their letters correctly and then it's going to be very hard to break that habit. Here I have some cornmeal to practice that handwriting. So they would do the same thing here with the cornmeal and then you can shake it and you can go on to the next card. And these are not in any particular order. So here's the C, so they will trace it with their finger first, and then come over here in the cornmeal. C. They can shake it. They're done with that card, they can put it to the side. And on and on the child goes, practicing their handwriting. This is a really fun one and kids love working with cornmeal. Or you can use sand, you can use rice, you can use rice, whatever you have at hand. Here is a math activity, and this is to practice number quantity. So here I have these little stickers, and I put numbers on them, and I kept it really simple today. One, two, three, and four. Here I have these little hearts that I got at the dollar store during, I think it was Valentine's Day. The child will be putting the correct number of hearts in each of these. One heart, one, two, three hearts, one, two hearts, and so on until she is finished. And you can use, again, if you don't have hearts, you can use any type of counters that you have. You can use little erasers, you can use little coins, whatever it is you have. You can even use beans. Okay, moving on over here. This, um, These little magnet tiles I got um, in Target as well, came with the picture tiles and also with the letter tiles. And so in this activity, sorry for the glare there, I'm going to have the child work on a beginning sound activity. So here is a B up here. What is the beginning sound of B? B, 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 so that she would take the letter and she would match it. The next one is box. What's the beginning sound for fox? The child will take the F and match it. Again, I found these at Target for $3, guys. It was a magnet center and I thought it was a great buy and it has letters, um, it has letters and also picture tiles. Moving on to the next activity. This is a critical thinking activity, logic. So the child is going to find what doesn't belong here. So for example, over here, I see gardening tools and then I see an instrument here. That one doesn't belong, so then the child would match. Tambourine, that one doesn't belong. Here are eating utensils. So what doesn't belong here? The screwdriver, so then the child would find the card that doesn't belong and on and on. And I'll link that below in the description box. I found it in Amazon and it brings a lot of different mats um, and it's great for logic and critical thinking work. And lastly, I have a practical uh, life skills activity and Montessori likes to focus on helping children to learn practical life skills. So today I have um, my child working on cleaning this candlestick 
um, this candle holder and she, I have some soapy water, a little sponge and I have a little scrub for her, a little brush. So she's going to be just washing this for me um, and scrubbing and she lo kids love doing any type of washing work. You can put a doll in here, you can put a car, you can put a truck, you can put anything you like. Right now I have this candlestick that I would love to get washed so I'm using it for that purpose. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my uh, preschooler trying these out. job let's move on to the next one now what is this fox. what does fox start with yes can you find the f? where is it good let's put it right next to the fox good job what's this cow what does cow start with good can you find k -k? where's k Good job. Okay, Iris. So we're going to find what doesn't belong in these pictures, okay? So let's start over here with this one here. Can you tell me what might not belong there? Uh, this one. Let me see. And what is that? Do you know what that's called? Uh, what is it? Let's find out. So they learn language with this. Can you find the one that doesn't belong here? Find the picture of it. And then we're going to find out what it's called, okay? Let's see what it says here. It says tambourine this is a tambourine so as they find what doesn't belong they also are learning the names of these objects which is good for vocabulary learning um, and literacy okay let's move on to the next one iris what doesn't belong here what doesn't belong that and what is that called what is that do you know what 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 tool that is Screw. Screw. Is it a screw? Yeah. It looks like it says screwdriver. Okay, so it's a screwdriver. screwdriver. Let's put it right there. Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed our preschool uh, Montessori inspired activities today. Um, I will link my blog below um, where I share a lot of different ideas on my blog and pictures of ideas um, for the different categories for math, for literacy, um, all types of activities. I also have tons of pre free printables on my blog as well. Um, Coming up, I will be making Montessori-inspired activities for my first grader, what I do with my first grader, and also what I'm doing with my almost two-year-old. This is also enjoying a lot of Montessori-inspired activities. Um, so please stay tuned so that you don't miss any updates and you don't miss any of my videos because sometimes it can get lost in the feed. Um, I will link below how you can receive my videos through email. So you'll right away when I post a video, it goes straight to your email. You'll know right away when I make a new video. Also when I make new principles or when I have insider information for you guys and ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video. Bye-bye. Bye, Iris. Bye. <laughs>